Hey guys, it's Jessica and I'm here today with another Cricut tutorial for you for Design Space. Um, this tutorial today is going to be showing you how to import your own images just in case you can't find what you're looking for or you need something very specific uh, for your project in Design Space. Uh, so to get started, the first thing that we want to do is head over here to the left hand side and we're going to click the upload button. This takes you to a new screen here where you can see any previous images that you have uploaded in the past. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to go over here to cut your images for free. Basically what this does is it turns any image that you have into a vector file or an SVG file. So you can turn um, an outline of a state maybe into something that will actually be a cut file. So the first thing that we're going to do is click upload image. What this is going to do is uh, take you to a screen where you can browse for the file that you want. Well, we don't have anything yet. What we need to do first is actually download an image. You may have this already stored on your computer or you may need to go um, online and find an image that you are going to use. In this case, let's go ahead and search for an image on our own. Uh, let's say we want to make... Hmm. Let's do outline of Virginia. Okay, so we're going to be looking for a basic black image just for the, the ease of using something simple. So we're going to go ahead and click on images. Um, and I want something that's solid because I don't want it to cut out a line and just have an outline of the uh, shape. What I want is something like this, where it's filled in on the inside and it will uh, basically tell the machine, I want you to cut around the outside edges and leave all of the inside there. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and find one that is not copyrighted, hopefully. <laughs> um, now, here's the thing. You can use an image for personal use if it's um, from a, a site maybe, but it really depends on their regulations. Some people um, let you use their images for free. Some people let you use them for free if it's only for personal use. So you really have to double check and make sure that the image you're going to use is not going to be under copyright in some way, shape, or form. So just make sure that you double check before you use something just so you don't get into trouble down the road. Um, and what we're gonna do is we're gonna, so I right clicked on my picture and I'm gonna click save image as. It's gonna go into my downloads folder. So I want it to come here and I'm just gonna call it Virginia. We're gonna click save and that's gonna save it to my downloads folder. I'm gonna go ahead and close this down here because we don't need that open right now. And we're gonna head back to design space. So here back on our design space screen, we're gonna go ahead and click browse. And there you can see I have my Virginia outline under my downloads folder. So I just go ahead and click it once, click the open button, and here it is in design space. So this gives you a new menu. It's asking you to select your image type. So the image is uploaded as a single layer. And what that means is um, it's only one cut file. So even if your image was more complex and it had a lot of different colors or um, you know, just a lot of different detail, uh, it's still going to be one layer. So if it has a lot of different colors, basically you would be using it as a print then cut image maybe, um, or something along those lines. Um, if it's a single layer like this, it's definitely great for a cut file. Um, and the more complex images can be used for cut files as well, but it's just gonna cut around the outside. It's not going to cut like individual pieces of clothing or multiple layers. So the first thing that we wanna do is select our image type. So we've got three options here. Our first option is simple, image with high, um, high contrast colors and a transparent or monochrome background. That's what we have here. We have one color, it's the opposite of our background. So this is gonna be easy for Design Space to figure out where our outlines are. The middle option is moderately complex, so there are simple details in color with good contrast between the subject and the background. And then you have complex, so images with fine details, blended colors, or low contrast between subject and background. So these are obviously going to be more challenging to work with because the software is going to have a harder time distinguishing the, the subject from the background. 
Since our image is very simple, we're going to go ahead and click the simple option and we're going to click continue. So now we're on a new screen. Basically what this wants you to do is select all the areas you don't want to cut. So for this, all we need to do is click the background. And that tells us that we don't want it to cut a big square because if we didn't click the background, it would cut a square and it wouldn't cut our shape in the middle at all. So we click the background once. You can see that it changed into a checkerboard shape and our image here is left the same. So this tells our machine, I want you to cut around the outside of this image and leave all of this blank so that it's not part of our image at all. If you had something like text or letters, you would want to make sure that you clicked the inside of each of the individual letters or any space that you want to cut out. Otherwise, you'll just have an outline of your shape. If you need to undo, you can always come back up here. And for those images that are a little more intricate, you can always zoom in or out just to make it a little bit easier to get in and click those areas that need to be erased. Once we've got all of our uh, modifications done here, we're going to go ahead and click continue. And we have two options. So we can save it as a print, then cut image. This is where you uh, you send the file to your printer to be printed, and then you put it into your Cricut machine to be cut. This is especially great for some of those more complex images. Or if you wanted to make something like stickers, you needed to print it on the sticker paper first and then put it in your machine to cut. We're gonna save it as a cut image, um, and that's just going to give us an outline shape of the state of Virginia. We're gonna go ahead uh, over here before we go ahead and click continue. <laughs> you can name your image. Um, basically, this just makes it easier for you to find your stuff in a search result later. So we're gonna call it Virginia, that's fine. If you wanted to tag it, you could call it or put tags that said something like state, map, outline, things like that that will help you um, search for it later. And, anything you want to, like, if you were going to search for this file later, anything that you might use to search for that, put it in there as a tag. And then just separate it with a comma and a space, and you'll be good to go. So I'm going to go ahead and click Save, and we're ready to move on. Now you can see that it pops up down here, and it says Uploaded. If we want to add it to our canvas, we just click it to select it. You see that green box appears on the outside. And then we're going to come down here to Insert Images. And voila, now we have our state of Virginia on our canvas ready for us to cut. We can change the color, we can do anything that we want to modify this, or we can just go ahead and go to our mat and cut it. Easy as that, you guys. That is how you upload your own image um, to Design Space. If you guys have questions or anything at all, be sure to let me know. Um, drop a comment down below and I will see what I can do to address that for you. If you like this video, be sure to give it a big thumbs up, subscribe to my channel for more videos like this, and be sure to hit the little bell icon to be notified when I upload videos in the future.